welcome back to TGE TV. So today I am with the M4 DTM once again, and I thought it'd be a good. Oh, for God's sake, shut up! So I thought it'd be a good idea to go through exactly why this thing is the best part of £130,000. And also, it's going to shout shut up at it, but it's a hybrid. And also, a very youtuber -y thing. Do five things I love about this car. Because I'm on YouTube, I'm a YouTube tit, and we do five things. That's the way it goes, alright? Let's begin. Point number one, things I love about this car, is the way it looks. There's nothing else really like it out there on the roads, but it looks like this thing, it looks like a racing car. It's totally over the top, and I love it. Alpine white paint with all the decals, carbon everywhere, stupid wing on the back, carbon roof, brilliant. Absolutely love it. Big, big fan of the way this thing looks, and I don't think pictures actually do this car justice. I think in the flesh, it's a lot more imposing. The road presence is fantastic. That is point one, my lambs. Point numero deux is the sound this thing makes. I'm gonna go and give it a little rev, and annoy everyone in the facility. Very noisy, very antisocial, it offends people. One thing I would say on the noise, even though even though I enjoy how noisy it is, the noise it makes isn't exactly musical, like the F12 for example and most naturally aspirated engines. It is, for want of a better word, a racket, which is quite amusing actually. The looks on people's faces when you're driving around, priceless. So yeah, that is point number two. Point number three, performance. So the M4 standard car is no slouch. I think it'll do 0 to 60 in 4 to 4.2 seconds. This will do 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. The standard M4 has 424 odd brake horsepower, and this has 490 something. To say this isn't quick is an understatement. It's ridiculously quick. It makes me laugh every time I drive it. So point number three, performance. Point number four is the rarity of this thing. So there's only about 15 to 20 of these things in the UK, I don't know the precise numbers, I'm sure some of you will probably know better than I will. There's only 200 of these worldwide. You're unlikely to be driving around and spot another person in one of these, and definitely not. You won't see more than a few of them in your lifetime probably. Because most of them will be chucked in collector's garages. Yeah, that kind of ex exclusivity aspect I really, really like about the car. And even with the GTS that they did, there were 700 examples of those as opposed to 200 worldwide of these. Exclusivity slash rarity is point number four. Last but not least, point number five is attention to detail and the little extra kind of bonus features that first don't strike you, but then once you get to know the car and look into the car, it starts to become apparent. So what am I going on about? For example, we've got these BMW OLED headlights. Uh, I think I've touched on these in a previous video, but these are made up of LEDs that kind of swipe across the whole way through. We'll do a little bit of physics in a second. But yeah, these are really, really, really cool. I love these. Um, and you don't get them on the standard M4. Uh, the spoiler, it's all forged carbon. And on the inside as well, you've got really, really nice details, absolutely everywhere. The amount of thought that's gone into this car is fantastic. Um, and it's not something that immediately strikes you when you see one of these on the road. You might just think, you know, chaffed up M4, but everything, absolutely everything, has kind of a little theme going with it, down to the seat belts, the stripes in the bucket seats, the Alcantara everywhere. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, the steering wheel is a work of art. I'm actually bowled over by the car, to be honest. I think it's fantastic. Attention to detail and the little bonus features. It's point number... That's point number five. Big question, though. I touched on it at the beginning of the video, and I probably clickbaited the title with it. Is this car... And this is a bit of a bone of contention. Is this car worth £130,000 of your English pennies? Because that is a lot of money. The standard M4 for kind of foreign viewers, uh, to put that in perspective, the standard M4, I think, with competition pack, which is basically these wheels, actually, uh, will run to about 65, 70,000 pounds. And this is circa 127, 128,000 pounds. So yeah, quite a considerable premium over and above that. Do I think it's worth it? If you're in a fortunate enough position to be able to buy one of these and you love BMW and you love M Power, then yeah, go for it. Certainly not gonna lose any money on it if you manage to get one at a round list price. And even if you do pay a slight premium, I don't envisage ever these things losing any cash whatsoever. Whereas the standard M4, uh, they'll drop like a stone over the years. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing and you want to put money into a car that you're going to be able to get right back out again, £130,000, brilliant, all day, every day. Um, these aren't ever going to... Oh, what is all over my T-shirt? I need to get one of those lint rollers. What was that on about? Yeah, so, I mean, for years to come, these aren't ever going to drop below this price. Uh, so in that respect, in my honest opinion, I think this is worth every penny. And even if you paid a slight premium for one that I think some people are doing, uh, I know that might sound a bit wanky to some of you. I'm not meaning to be crass, I hate 
talking figures, money-wise. I've been brought up not to do that. But people are interested in it, and that is the price of the car. So, in my opinion, yes, 130 grand. You could drive around in it for a year, and then you'd be able to sell it on for probably 130, 140, maybe 150, depending on what the markets are doing, and um, whether or not we've been dragged into a recession by then. But I digress. This should be free motoring. So, yep, yeah, 130k worth every penny. Blah blah blah. Anyway, on that note, I hope that's cleared some things up. Maybe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe because there's going to be lots of stupid content to come and it won't all involve me standing around blabbering. So thanks again for watching. Ciao for now. Bye.